You're on, Don. Good afternoon. We're here in Olympia, Washington, and we're here to talk about the election cycle that is about to happen. Things are really happening here in Olympia around uh, the port of Olympia. The port has numerous candidates running for two different positions. One is in District 1, and one is in District 3. We have a three-way race in District 1 and a four-way race in District 3, and we're going to let you know about what's going on and uh, the excitement that is going on around the Port of Olympia. Tom, can you tell us the name of the candidates? Uh, yes. The three candidates in District 1 are George L. Barnum, Joe Fowler, and Tracy Kruger. That is one of the three-way races, and I am now active with George Barner, a four-term county commissioner of the county and a two-term port commissioner running for his third term. Joseph and Tracy are the challengers. Tracy is a, a, a restaurateur and a uh, activist with the Olympia Farmers Market, which is a very popular venue uh, on the property that the Port of Olympia owns. And um, Joseph is active with the uh, port as an advisor. He's on the advisory committee to the port. And he is also uh, an avid uh, sailor. His, his wife, Myra, is part of the, uh, of the uh, yacht club. She's the commodore of the Olympia Yacht Club. So that's a three-way race that uh, George is involved in now as the incumbent. And I am active with George, trying to elect George. So we thought, what a great idea to put together uh, some material on that race. It may be George's last race, and he has such a long, uh, esteemed career as a politician in the county and as a, um, uh, a local resident. Um, the other race is a four-way, the other race is a four-way race. And the, and the four-way race is between Bob Jones, Lawrence Goodman, E.J. Zeta, and Jerry Farmer. Jerry Farmer is a, uh, a radio manager from a local radio station, a very popular person. Uh, Lawrence Goodman is a former labor lobbyist, very active politically, knowledgeable person. Uh, E.J. Zita, it's Z-I-T-A. E.J. is a uh, physics professor, and uh, she's also a farmer, and um, she uh, is a uh, uh, probably a front runner in that race. Bob, uh, Bob is popular as a uh, a small business consultant and a leader within the uh, the group uh, the business community, uh, and Bob has been uh, you know very interested in the uh, uh, forward progress on the port. So uh, it's those four candidates in one district and the three candidates in the other district. Now there's another complication. This even gets <laughs> this even gets more complicated, and that is that the previous the previous elected official in District 3, Sue Gunn. And Sue Gunn uh, had some health problems and as a result uh, was uh, pushed off the commission. So in order to uh, replace her, they had to take applications. Nine people applied. One person dropped out. Uh, of those nine people, four of the nine have decided to run for a position. And um, the others um, uh, are up for appointment. So on Monday, there will be a port meeting to work on making the decision on uh, who should be 
uh, appointed to fill Sue Gunn's position between now and the election. Uh, the primary election is on August 4th, and the general election is on November 4th. So the primary election will be coming right up, and it's going to be a uh, it's it's a, a very exciting um, a terrain, a very exciting fleet of candidates that are uh, all lined up, and it's brought a lot of focus and excitement around the future of the Port of Olympia.